Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, I'm a full-time reseller and I wanna dig right into my weekend sales. So first thing I wanna talk about is this item here. I have sold these a week ago. eBay decided to return it. eBay made the choice of returning it. So I wanna tell you all about that. Um, but first, quick little recap. We have 19 items going out for this weekend with a gross sale, gross sale of over $1,250. Amazing weekend. Of those 19 items, only three of them were not promoted listings. I am still standing firm that promoted listings have increased this business exponentially. I was getting a little bit of salt over on TikTok. There were a few people saying, oh, promoted never works. Um, there was one guy that promoted an item that was like a $600 item. Um, and then that person returned the item. So they were out like $80 in promoted listing fees. Okay, you've got to use some kind of judgment when you're doing promoted listings. I'm not going to list a $1,000 or a $600 item and promote it. If I have a $600 item, it's because the item is hot and it's going to sell quickly. I don't want to sit on it when there's a thousand other or 500 other of that item. That's not how my business runs. So to promote something, you're giving it a better chance of showing up on page one. That's why you promote it. So when I buy an item, such as some Nike shoes, if there's 500 listed, maybe 200, 300 sold, I still have a good sell-through rate, but I want to be up on page one. So that's why I promote it. If you only have three or four of those items are listed, don't waste your money promoting it. It's going to sell on its own. On its own. Um, so while I say promote everything at 4%, Still take that with a grain of salt. Make sure it falls into your business model. Make sure the item that's listed is not going to sell on its own first. If it's got like a 200, 300% sell-through rate, you don't need to promote it. Save your money and don't give extra money to eBay if you don't have to. But very rarely do I find items that are in that 200, 300% sell-through. Um, I'm usually right around the 50% sell-through. That seems to be kind of my, my median. And if it's more than that, don't waste your money promoting because you don't need to. It'll sell by itself. Okay, so this hot item here, Nike shoes. eBay has a program where they authenticate your Nike shoes. Apparently, this either this version, this model of Nike is uh, knocked off a lot, is counterfeited a lot, however we say it. Um, there's a lot of fakes out there. So eBay pays for me to ship this to their authentic authentication to, authentic to authenticate, it's getting late. They pay to authenticate these shoes. So I don't have to pay shipping. The buyer, I don't know if they ended up paying shipping, but me as a seller, I don't pay for shipping. I send these over to get authenticated free of charge. So I sent these off to be authenticated last week, maybe a week and a half ago. eBay, however, decided to say that they were not acceptable not because they were fake, but because the box was not in good condition. They returned it because of the box. They didn't give the buyer the option to say he didn't like the box. They're buying the shoes, not the box. Um, I did take pictures that it has some writing because where I got these shoes, this is my little shoe dealer. Um, he had so many shoes. He labeled the outside what was in it just for easy plucking. Um, so I did put that in the listing. I may not have shown this little slice here very well. I had the shoes sitting on top, so you could kind of see it, but I didn't accentuate it. Um, so I think that's what eBay didn't like about it. Um, so I got them back. I know these are real. I relisted it. Funny thing, I listed them at the exact same price, but I took pictures without the box. They're not getting the box anymore. The box cost me the last sale. No more box for them. These sold for 80 bucks. So, and I made my shoes $20 for these new shoes in box. Let's start digging into the 18 other juicy things this weekend. Um, we've got a lot of small little bread and butters. Um, we've got this um, Avon makeup. I think it's makeup. Sunscreen, skincare, daily moisturizer. Um, I paid 50 cents for this, and it sold for $16. So very small, but I'll take it. Um, we've got a Coleman heater. I've sold this guy before. I sold a bigger version of it. It's a Sport Cat golf cart heater. Um, I paid $7 for this, and it sold for just over $50. Bucks. Um, I have a sale running right now where some of my older items are 15% and above off. 
So this did sell with 15% off and promoted. So about 20% is the total off that I'm not going to see, but um, 50 bucks is going to be the net pro or gross profit. We've got a little Sony Walkman here. Um, anytime you can find these pretty cheap. I paid $2 for this. Um, it comes with the Walkman. It came with um, a couple other accessories here. We've got some headphones. Um, it's got the case and it's got a manual. Where's the manual? Yeah, manual is tucked in there. So um, this little $2 flip turned for 20 bucks. Next up, we have a first alert alarm system. Uh, this one is carbon monoxide alarm. I paid $4 in the state and it sold for 28 bucks. So yeah, I got a lot of small items this weekend, but I'm happy just to get rid of that sheer volume of almost 20 items. Um, we've got this ink paid a dollar and it sold for $25. We've got a Dyson handle. I picked up a Dyson vacuum at, uh, where was it? Salvation Army. I paid 20 bucks for this whole box. It had a nice vacuum in it and a bunch of accessories. And it turned out some of those accessories were duplicates. So I listed this guy separately. Um, I'm going to say a zero cost of good because my vacuum is where the actual profit or the actual cost of good is at 20 bucks. Um, so this guy is sold for $24. Not a huge thing, but um, free shipping and it's super small. So um, it's easy shipper. Uh, one fun one here is this rock band collection. I picked these up at a garage sale. I paid $3 a piece, um, but it's actually a little bit less because I bundled and got a better price on it. But we'll say three bucks each. And this set sold for $63. Um, I had it listed a little higher, so I probably could have got a little more. But again, with my sale, I just want to clear out inventory. I'm, it's summertime. I'm getting more sales. I'm hitting more garage sales. Uh, I want to make sure that I've got room for this inventory. So um, this one sold, what did I say, 63 bucks for all three games. We've got a funky one. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to lift this guy. Heave. Okay. I found this at my local thrift store for $15. They obviously don't make this anymore. It's a type of workout equipment. You stand on it, you have to balance. Um, you can do squats and all kinds of crazy workouts on it. Works your core. Awesome little piece of equipment. And I paid 15 bucks. It sold for $127. But what's crazy, they paid over $100 to ship this guy. So I'm hoping I'll be able to ship it for a lot less and make even more on the shipping profits. Um, so. We'll see how that goes. I've got actually a pretty big box um, that I think it's just going to go right into. I'm not going to worry about padding because it's rubber. It's not going to break. So I'll pack it just so it doesn't flop too much and bust out a side of the box. But I'm very happy to get rid of that. Next up, we've got a Canon camera. I had sold this one um, a couple of weeks ago. It got returned because the buyer did not put a correct address. So I got it returned to sender refunded the buyer minus the shipping because I had to pay to ship it out. I'm not going to eat that because they didn't give me a correct address. So it sold again for 50 bucks and sold quick. The one that I was a little surprised with is this Oticon remote. Um, I found this at Savers in the, like a little mystery goodie bag. And I looked up that brand. It's a hearing aid brand, but I didn't see this model listed. So, um, it was kind of a risk, but again, it was a good brand. So if you can find a good brand for pretty cheap, it's worth grabbing because someone's going to be looking for this random remote and it sold for $42. I think that whole bag was right around five bucks. Um, it was either 20 or 25% off. So maybe $4 into it, but there were other items in the bag. So profit again, at least 40 bucks into this. We've got a filter. Filters have slowed down. These were kind of my jam for a while. I was selling probably five plus a week. This one here, I only pay a dollar or two for these at my local thrift and he sold for $33. It's got this piece as well as um, some mounts and stuff. So that all goes together. We've got an Ever Avermedia digital recorder. This was a personal item of my husband's. You can record your video games. 
um, kind of a dated technology because now you can stream all of that. But this way, if you wanted to record it, you plug it into your game system and you can record. Um, it also comes with the remote and it sold for 25 bucks. We sold another one of the figures from that $10 vintage toy set. Um, I took an offer of $55 on him. He's got his head, he's got some weapons, he's got his little key. He does not work, his eyes are supposed to light up. So he doesn't work and he's still sold for 55 bucks. I'm already profited over $320, $330. Like it's crazy how much is in this lot. And I haven't even broke the surface. I did a video last week where um, I'm listing, going through, getting some of these listed. So be sure to check that video out. Um, this was one of those and it sold within the last week. So these guys, I need to get them all listed and out the door. Okay, we got some boots. Um, cowboy boots. I've got a boot dealer, shoe dealer. I pay $30 for some cowboy boots. And then there was a bunch of them. I paid $10 because they were lower model. Tony Lomas, Tony Lomas, I might have paid the 30 on this one because of the brand, but this one did not go as well because they are used. Um, so this might have been a $10 pair, I don't remember, but they sold for $67. I'm not seeing his lot as like a per item profit. I know once all of this sells, it's profit nonetheless. So whether it was a $20 profit on this shoe or a $50 profit on that shoe, I'm in it to make money in the long haul not off of one one pair at a time. Uh, we've got Ziploc vacuum sealer. This guy's open, but he's got the bags in there. Um, sold for $16 and I would have paid only a dollar at a yard sale um, or a state sale. If you can find those, they don't make them anymore. They also sell the bags. This was the pump and the bags. Definitely be on the lookout for these. Got a pretty beat up Nintendo GameCube controller and I don't know if they call it a rumble pack or if that's a different system, but this little adapter as well as um, the controller. No, it's not a rumble pack, some kind of adapter. Um, but together they sold for $45 and I paid less than five bucks for this controller at a yard sale. And last but not least goes to this little crafty guy. He is called a Sizzix Big Shot for stamping up. No idea how you use it, but it goes to a stamping machine. Um, I guess you put stamps through it. I don't know how you use it, but it's a pretty manual process. It's got a little knob, you just turn it. It does its crafty thing. I paid $7 at a yard sale and it sold for 55 bucks. Final sale goes to this massager. I had no idea what this was when I went into this thrift store. It was at a St. Vincent and it was called a more fam. So at first I'm like, I thought it was like a buffer for a car. Like I don't even know what I thought it was. So I looked it up and it surprised me what this item was. The sell through rate was really good. Um, and the profits were amazing. So I paid $7 for this guy and he sold for 42 bucks. Little sad to see it go because man, this thing can massage. Uh, but it's a heck of an arm workout when you're sitting there trying to <laughs> massage someone's back. So it's not one that you can like wand back there and get yourself. It's one that someone's got to man this for you and they get an arm workout. All right, so that one definitely be on the lookout for any personal massagers. So again, profits were amazing this weekend. Last week's video, I kind of go over the highs and lows of reselling. Some weekends are really good, some are not as good. This was a really hot weekend. Why? I don't know, but 19 items total for a gross profit of over $1,250. Amazing weekend. If you like what you saw, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. That'll help grow the channel and I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next one. Have a great day.